I would like to share with you how I fabricated the steel worktop of my new multifunction welding table using the fine slugger magnetic drill. To start off, I grab my combination square and Pika pencil and markers to lay out the three quarter inch holes at six inches on center. Once I had all 36 holes laid out in the top, I was ready to set up the new mag drill. It's virtually ready right out of the box. All you need to do is screw on the handle and choose what size annular cutter you plan to use. In my case, I'm using a 3 quarter inch annular cutter and it's held in by tightening the two Allen set screws with a supplied wrench. Now that spring-loaded point on the bottom of the annular cutter is not only to use for chip ejection, but it's also used to line up the center point of the holes that you plan to drill. Once you have the exact center point location of your hole, turn the magnet on with the switch on the back. It is very important to use a cutting paste or lubricant to keep that cutter head cool during operation. For safety reasons, the drill will not power up unless it has proper magnetic holding force on the steel of which it's drilling. With over 2,000 pounds of holding force, you won't have to worry about this drill releasing from the steel when you're applying ample pressure on the cutter head. When you're all done drilling, be sure to use that supplied tool that I call the ice pick to pull the shavings out from underneath the cutter. Just be very careful because they're like little razor blades and you don't want to touch them. So if you notice, not far into this project, I put some gloves on due to the shavings hitting my hand. So based on my experience, make sure you start off wearing gloves. If you choose not to use the cutting paste for your cooling, you can mount the supplied bottle on the side of the machine and it'll feed it as the bit is spinning. Fine also has a solution available that you can mix with water that you can use for the cutting fluid in that bottle. But I happen to have the cutting paste for my project, so that's what I used. I was really impressed with the speed of how fast this drill ate through 36 holes on this quarter inch steel top. Now there's many applications where you would want to use this drill vertical or upside down, such as drilling an I-beam or steel structure, and it comes with a safety strap that you would wrap around something secure to hold it from falling in case of a power failure. As you can see, it drilled 36 flawless holes that did not leave a single burr on the top of the work surface. It was very impressive. I highly recommend this tool. I'm looking forward to years of projects to come on this workbench. Please find all the product information and links in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel so you can be sure not to miss the next project or product review.